you guys need any cards, packs, sleeves, anything of that nature, shop on TCG Player using my affiliate link in the description. What's good, YouTube? October is here, and you know what that means. It's time for another episode of lazy content, a.k.a. a tier list. Today we're going to be doing one that I'm honestly kind of surprised I haven't done yet, that being Flip Effect Monsters. And there is a lot of these in Edison format. If you see as I scroll down, we got about a hundred different flip effect monsters we're going to be going over in order, starting from Legend of Blue Eyes all the way up through Absolute Power Force. Man, there's a lot. Um, of course, we're only looking at monsters that say flip in all caps with a colon. We're not looking at all these weird like Pac-Man monsters and the Snowman Eater, the pseudo flip effects, only real flip effect monsters that get banished from the deck by Nobleman of Crossout. All right, so that's what we're looking at. Um, we've got five, what is the six tiers here? Uh, I don't know, it's not like, not a whole lot to explain, just like the good to the bad, and then I, I created a whole tier for cards I don't even recognize, because I didn't read these beforehand, so there's gonna be some, I don't know what they do. Um, yeah, that being said, we got a hundred cards to go over, so we're gonna have to, we're gonna have to breeze through this. Let's start, let's start with LOB, go the whole way through Absolute Power Force, let's get to it. So, first off, we've got the Legend of Blue Eyes Flip Monsters, and man, these are <clears throat> these are pretty nostalgic. I remember them from back in the day. So, Armed Ninja. This targets a spell on the field and destroys it. Where do we want to put this? I mean, probably just straight garbage, right? If it hits a set card, you can, like, check it, and if it's a spell, it gets destroyed, but it's like... Yeah, I mean, this is worse than cards that are worse than other cards, so it's just, why would you ever play this? Uh, Hain Hain, we're maybe just gonna call this one bad. It's, like, worse than Penguin Soldier, so I guess... There's, like, a lot of flip monsters actually bounce things, I think. Hain Hain's probably one of the worst ones, but I don't think it's full-on garbage. Garbage tier is gonna be just, like, the absolute worst of the worst. Maybe Armed Ninja honestly doesn't even belong down here. Eh, we're gonna leave Armed Ninja down here. I think he is pretty bad. Hain Hain at least interacts with monsters. Uh, Maneater Bug, I, just, I actually have to throw this in playable, right? Because you can put it in, like, the Insect deck. Um, yeah, the playable tier, we're being pretty generous with this one, obviously, but there, there are better cards you could play in terms of effect uh, than Maneater Bug, but it is, like, a decent one that's an Insect monster, so it's, like, you know, semi-playable-ish. We're going to be pretty extensive with the playable category, probably. I think most of the ones that you would think of as playable are actually just going to go in this solid tier up here. So, Maneater Bug's going down here. Reaper of the Cards, I mean, just absolute garbage. It's a it's a tribute flip effect monster. <coughs> and it's a flip effect isn't all that crazy if I remember either. So, yeah, just bad. Uh, this guy, I forget his name, but he reveals all set cards on the field when he's flipped. And I don't even think he stops flip effects. Maybe he only flips up set spell traps, but I think he's actually all set cards. Anyway, he just he just sucks, right? It's better than Reaper of the Cards, I guess, because he's not a tribute monster. That might not even be true. He might actually be worse. Put him in lower tier of garbage. All right, who we got next up? Trap Master. This card is better than Armed Ninja, but not by much. I could maybe see putting it up here. Just because, like I said, he is better than Arm Ninja. You hit a set card, you can destroy it. It's, like, sometimes okay, but... Yeah, it's so bad. Uh, it might, I might have to go down here. I'll think about it later. Um, this guy, Big Eye. Not not the Big Eye you're thinking of. The other Big Eye. Uh, this dude lets you look at the top five and put them back in any order. I mean, that's just garbage, right? It doesn't do anything. <laughs> it doesn't, like, do anything proactive whatsoever. It lets you, like determine your what your next draw is i guess which is fine but garbage tier a castle of dark illusion i don't remember what it does sorry it goes in the i don't recognize tier um well i recognize the card but i don't remember what it does maybe we should rename this can i here here i don't remember what it does there that's a little bit more accurate <clears throat> dragon piper so if get this get what this card does if dragon capture jar is on the field and you flip some in this it changes all dragon monsters to attack mode can i make like a lower tier for hold on hold one second add row below dragon piper is that what he's called is it dragon piper i think so 
There we go. That, that should do it. Um, wait, what? No, that's not right. Okay, that resolves that. We got Dragon Piper down here in his own special little shit tier. So yeah. Next up, we got Mask of Darkness. Um, this one's going in playable. There are, are like some weird mod control type decks in Edison format. They're not good or anything, but they exist. So I think putting Mask of Darkness up here, playable is going to be like, you know, cards you could play in jank kind of stuff. So I think that's like a, that's a fair placement for it. This card, Princess of Suger, Su, Seward, Princess of Su something. She burns the opponent for 500 for every spell trap they control. Man, a lot of flip monsters just suck. <clears throat> it's it's like weird because flip monsters need to have a really good effect because of the fact that you have to set them for a full turn. God, this is bad. Uh, I mean, just like garbage, right? Like, like down here, just absolute trash. What are we doing? This card, this card lets you gain 3k when you flip it and then you lose 5k when it dies. It's got like a kind of unique effect, so I'm going to put it maybe up in bad because perhaps there exists some application for that. Hero Shadow Scout lets your opponent draw three or something, so I'm going to put it in garbage. <clears throat> Don't know what this thing is, sorry. Um, Jigen Bakugan, really bad ring of destruction. Uh, or like not even a ring, it like pops your own field and then does half burn. <laughs> it's like a, a really bad reverse turbo cannon. Uh... I mean, it's probably better than Hero's Shadow Scout, but, like, not by much. <laughs> oh, that sucks. Uh, so we got... Who do we got here? Spear Cretan? This one's gonna go in playable for me. I don't know. There's not a lot of crazy ways this card gets exploited, but it is, like, exploitable. So I think that's fine. This card is called Weather Report. I don't know what it does, though. <laughs> I think it's cool that we have a card called Weather Report, I guess. So, yeah. Anyway, Morphing Jar is top tier. This card is crazy. It's not like top of top tier or anything, but I think it is a really powerful flip effect monster. I mean, for obvious reasons. Yeah, it is sacky, but man, is it strong uh, in certain in certain situations in certain decks. So I'm throwing it in top tier. A lot of like hero beat players and stuff have been throwing it into their builds. So top tier for me, I'm saying. Four star Ladybug. I mean, just like worse than any kind of like Raikou snowman man eater bug although snowman we said doesn't count uh it's just bad it's like probably above the other ones in bad though bite shoes don't remember what it does but it's pretty cool that we have a card called bite shoes man <laughs> oh a lot of this just weird me out about card design back in the day bombardment beetle destroys a set effect monster on the field when it's flipped bad <laughs> uh wearing bad like like here maybe i don't know it's yeah it's garbage Ubonic Vermin, it like flips and specials another one from your deck. I'm going to call this bad, but I'm going to put it like top of bad. It's like a high bad because there's some weird things you could potentially do with it. It's like borderline, maybe playable tier. Um, I don't know, like two Alatin decks play this card or something. I mean, that sounds kind of like a joke, but there are like weird things that have I've seen playing this. Morphing Jar number two. Is this playable or is this bad? It's, like, only playable in the sense of maybe thrown into some super strange Hyrule type of combo thing. So maybe we'll call it playable, but, like, bottom of playable. Just absolute trash. Parasite, Parasite, I legit don't remember what this does. It probably doesn't have the same effect from when I watched it in the anime in, like, 2004, but, eh, yeah, whatever. <laughs> I don't know. Fire Sorcerer, don't know what this does either. Lady Salem of the Flames banishes the top four and then inflicts some damage or something. It gets played in some of those weird Grenma Jew decks that you might have possibly heard of if you're, like, deep down the rabbit hole of this format like I am. I'm gonna call it bad. <clears throat> I think that's fair. Uh, Needleworm... No one plays this, right? It's just, like, a really bad, you know, if trying to mill out your opponent type of card. I'm not... Yeah, it's, it just sucks. I'm gonna. I'm thinking just bad though. Maybe maybe like bottom of bad. Where, where do I feel it is? It's like worse than Lady Assailant of the Flames probably. It sees less play than that card, unironically. So yeah, Summer of Illusions. This lets you summon a fusion monster from your extra deck for like one turn by tributing a monster. I mean, it is like a kind of unique effect. Let's put it next to the Thunder guy who also has a kind of unique effect. 
Supply, I don't remember what it does. Um, Tornado Bird bounces to Spell Traps. That's just garbage, right? I mean, you're bouncing Spell Traps. Penguin Soldier, on the other hand, we're going with Playable on this one. I think it even has been played. I think a true hero had a, a build of Diva Hero that he played it in. He did say the card was bad, and he cut it. But he still topped up the list that had Penguin Soldier in it. So, you know, we got to give Penguin Soldier a little bit of credit. Bouncing Monsters is, like, pretty good. Bouncing mul multiple monsters, also pretty solid. Uh, so, yeah, playable. Don't know what this guy does. Um, I don't even know what this thing's called. So, yeah, Shadow Tamer takes control of an Archfiend monster. Uh... I don't think there's a single relevant card in the format that you can take with this, so... I, I, maybe I'm wrong. Because, like, some stuff got errated to Archfiend, maybe? But I don't think that applies in Edison format. That was, like, way later. So, like, down here, this card just, like, sucks. Oh, it's bad. Uh, Cat of Ill Omen. This searches a trap to the top of your deck. Unless you have Necro Valley on the field, then it adds it to your hand. Just, like, plain bad. I don't know, somewhere in here. Somewhere in here, I mean, it searches a trap. If you're playing some, like, really weird thing where you need to search a trap desperately, I guess it's, like, okay. Owl does the same thing with field spells, which is probably slightly worse. It's, like, slightly better in some ways, too. I don't know. And, like, if Necro Valley is on the field. But you don't play this crap in anything that plays Necro Valley, so it's, like, what's even the point? And if Necro Valley is on the field, you already have a field spell out. <laughs> You know, I'll put it, I'll call it worse than the cat just because of that. Cobra Jar summons a token, and it's a reptile monster. I'm going to call it bad. I It's like, you can kind of possibly play it a little bit in the reptile deck, which is funny. I mean, it's not like the best thing. It's not worth actually playing it, but I'm just saying like middle of bad. Um, I don't know, it gives you a plus one, whatever. Dice Jar, what do we say, like top of bad? It's a funny gambling burn card whatever uh soldier or soldier gravekeepers wait this thing is guard right yeah this is guard it's solid i think um yeah probably solid is maybe just playable uh maybe top of playable bottom of solid i'm feeling like i mean, it's a 19 defender just like bounces something it's pretty good it doesn't see much play though so maybe down in playable is more accurate Here's a card that does see play, though. I mean, like, you know, on the margins, of course. But I think Spy belongs in its own spot above all this stuff. So throwing it into the solid tier. I mean, Descendant exists. It just gives you a plus one. It's a 2k defender. It's a dark monster. You can tribute him for Caius. You can summon a tuner and sync with them. There's just, like, a lot that Spy does that's pretty okay. Like I said, not, not a great card that's in all the great decks. But probably deserving of being called solid. Oh, uh, I don't know what this card does. So down here, Poison Mummy. This guy inflicts 500 damage to the opponent when you flip it. Um, so I do remember what it does, actually. <laughs> I do remember what it does, and what it does is garbage. So down here, uh, yeah, actually just like worse than, strictly worse than Princess of whatever. Uh, yeah, or not strictly worse, but mostly worse. Uh, this cat thing is like a worse Penguin Soldier. Like a much worse penguin soldier because you need to have something on your field to bounce to. We'll call it bad. We'll call it bad. We'll be generous. Uh, Desk Koala. So this one's like playable. It's a kind of bad burn card, but it's like borderline. You know, you run it. You can get it off Hamster, which is kind of neat, I guess. Uh, Dimension Jar. They printed a bunch of like really bad DD Crow sort of set monsters, and this is one of them. It lets both players banish three cards from the opponent's graveyard. So pretty bad, I guess. Maybe even just garbage. I'm going to call it just garbage, actually. Magical Merchant. This one is playable. This one might even be top of playable. I mean, you obviously have the meme mill decks, and that's generally what this gets played in. But when it resolves, it's pretty crazy. And it is a, just a plus one. So I'm going to call the card solid. We'll put it in playable. Uh, what is this thing? I don't remember. <laughs> Old Vindictive Magician, it's just like Maneater Bug, but you can get it off Apprentice, but it's not an insect. I mean, it depends whether you think insects or spellcasters are better. I'll just put it right next to Maneater Bug, actually. Arsenal Summoner, this guy searches a guardian monster from your deck to your hands. So you can get Quacky Marrow Guardian, Guardian Yatos, 
or Guardian of Order, and that's about all that's worth searching, I think. We'll just call it bad. I mean, I've, like, played around with this card. So, it's a plus one. It's got cool search effects. It's worth messing around with, maybe, but I don't think it's quite as good as these guys in playable tier. Desferal Imp, don't remember what it does. This guy searches an equip spell. We'll just call that bad. Uh, it's just better than these. Probably better than all these. Maybe worse than Bubonic Vermin. I don't know where we want to draw the line here. Eh, eh. Maybe I'm underrating this card. Let's put a top of bad. Top of bad? Yeah, I think that's fair. I mean, search and equip spell is a decent effect. Slate Warrior? No one plays this, but maybe it's not as bad as some of these. Hmm, it's just like a 1900. We have to consider the fact that just being a 19 beater makes you better than a lot of these cards. <laughs> yeah, actually, though, it's just like... Top of bad just because he's 1900. Just... That seems kind of unfair because I'm not considering its flip effect. Hmm. Yeah, I don't know. Its flip effect is just garbage. You have to set it. And it's got like 400 defense, so it just gets run over. But if you flip it, it's 24. Uh, where do we want to. I don't know. Are we evaluating it as like an overall card more or as a flip effect more? Because I feel like. Both or should be considered. Maybe let's just let's compromise and throw it in the middle of bad. I'm not really sure. This thing is like armed ninja, but for traps. Wait, isn't Trap Master just armed ninja for traps? What's the point of this? All right, I'm gonna put him next to Trap Master because I don't remember how he's different from Trap Master, but there must be something. Um, this thing is a reptile that bounces an opponent's monster. So somewhere in bad, I think, probably. As always, the middle of the bell curve seems to be the one that's eating a lot of the cards. What do we want to... Bouncing a monster is not too bad of an effect, so we'll put it there. I think this is like DD Crow, but it's a flip effect monster. <laughs> you know what? Yeah, this should just go down in garbage, honestly. I don't know. No, not quite in garbage. Maybe just bad. Not nah, garbage, actually. What? Where did I put Dimension Jar? Let's put it next to that. It's just like a little bit better. This thing flips down a face-up monster when it's flipped up. Yeah, I mean, that sucks. How much does it suck? Is it better or worse than these burn guys? I don't know. It's, it gets hard at this point. They're all so terrible. Night Assailants. We're going to call that one solid. Um, of course, it has the secondary effect, which is very good. And it just pops a monster, just like any monster. So, I mean, that's 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 pretty decent. Uh, it's kind of like Maneater Bug, Old Vindictive, but they just gave it an extra thing. So, yeah, I think Solid's fair. What does this do? I don't remember. <laughs> uh, this revives a level 3 or lower normal monster from the graveyard when it's flip summoned. Maybe you get bottom of bad or something. I think that's being generous. We'll put him above the stupid cat. Really, the cat should be... I don't know. Yeah, let's, let's just leave him there. Dark Mimic. I mean, at least it says draw one. Uh, it doesn't really see any play in Edison. I guess it's a fiend, so you can put it in some weird fiend deck. Uh, I don't know. The card doesn't get played much. Its stats suck. It does say draw one, I guess. But there are better draw ones is the thing. It's like just a worse version of those. Okay, green kappa. Now, this one's going in playable. I don't know where in playable. I'm pretty... I, I kind of like this card. Let's just throw it here. I mean, it's like a decent sideboard card. I wish more people sided it. It's kind of funny. I just want to like green cap of someone someday, you know? Hade, Hade. I think you have to tribute some of this, so it's automatic garbage tier. Um, it's better than Reaper, I guess. Then man Noble Maneater Bug, same deal. I guess its effect is decent if you resolve it, but it's like it's a tribute summon flip monster, so you can't be higher than garbage. Don't know what this does. Dekoichi. Is this the best? I think this is the best, like, just draw one flip monster. We're going to put it up in playable. How do we feel about this? Maybe even up here. Top of playable. There's, like, the Salvo, Machina, whatever decks. There's Chaos decks. I mean, this card gets played probably more than anything else in playable. So we'll put it top of playable. Brain Jacker. Fucking weird name, by the way. <laughs> Down here. All right, all these Charmers just, like, yoink a monster but only so long as they stay face up on the field and their stats are puny. So they're all garbage. 
Are they garbage or are they bottom of bad? Mmm, garbage. Yeah, let's just... I'll just call them garbage. Garbage, garbage. Wait, I think I just remembered. These charmers reminded me of what this card... No, was it this card? This card. This card just, like, takes control of any monster till the end phase, I think. That's honestly kind of... Kind of cool. Maybe we'll put it up in the high end of bad or something. I don't remember what it's called, but I read that and I was like, huh, oh, that's kind of neat. Weird that no one's tried to play anything with that. I don't think it's good because it's just like a flip effect. So, I mean, unless it stays there, but you could maybe figure something out. I don't know. This card, I actually, it like switches to it switches control of itself and then your opponent chooses one monster to switch control with it so it like uses itself for a pseudo creature swap sort of play i mean that's just bad uh what kind of bad are we talking it's pretty bad like it just lets your opponent choose what to switch to all right wait 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 what is this <sighs> did i like forget which ninja does what did i get the other one wrong I don't know. I'm putting it in, in don't know, actually. Skellingo. It's like a Dekoichi, but it's a fairy light. It's got worse stats. Hey, what do we want to put it? Down here. Maybe above the old Vindictive Maneater bug. I feel like I should see more Skellingo out there. Uh, This guy, Guard Dog, is that what it is? You flip it and then your opponent can't special summon from the rest of the turn. I mean, there's just no reason to play this thing. Because, like, Dinah exists, you know? <laughs> so, yeah, it's just so bad, actually. Because, like, how do you even get any benefit out of that? Hmm, we'll put it, like, like here. It's, I'm throwing in garbage. Don't know what this guy does. Whirlwind Weasel. He's like a bad cold wave if you flip it. Maybe, maybe top of garbage. Maybe top of garbage, eh, maybe bottom of bad. You could get it all off hamster, right? Is this thing a beast? Hey, it might not even be. It's probably, is it better than the cat? Maybe it's better than some of this wonky stuff. I'm not really sure. Alien Gray, guess you can play it in Aliens if you want. It would be a whack build, actually. I think it's below some of this stuff. Put it here. Crystal Seer. We're going to call this one playable. Whoops, whoops, whoops. That's not the right one. I'm gonna call this one solid. Its stats are worse than Dekoichi's, and it's not like a dark, but its effect is just better. And it is a water for Miracle Fusion, and there's that one weird deck that plays it. We'll call it solid. I think it's the, probably the worst one in solid, but I think it's worthy of solid at least. Don't know what you do. Don't know what you do. You destroy all machines on the field, which is just a comical effect. I mean, Cyber Dragon exists, System Down exists, etc., etc., Frankly, yeah, it's yeah, just garbage, actually. Don't know what you do. Microcell has an insane effect. <laughs> do I put this in top tier just because this effect is so broken? No, we got to have some restraint. Let's put it down in solid. The, the issue with Microcell is that the battery man just doesn't have enough. But Microcell in itself is so nuts as a flip effect card. I feel like I'm compelled to put it in solid. Ducker Mobile Cannon. Maybe bottom of playable. It's got like a funky ass effect. Adds back a level 4 or lower. Man, this thing should just add back anything. If it added back anything, it might be worth playing. Raikou, easy top tier. I mean, do I really need to explain this? It's like <laughs> every other deck plays this card. Um, or at least a lot of decks play this card. Um, after you factor in, factor in representation, probably not every other deck. Wall of Ivy, forget what it does. Is it summon a token or something? Uh, we'll just say I forget. This thing adds back a Morphtronic Spell Trap from the graveyard. Uh, eh, how am I feeling on this? Am I feeling generous? How generous can I be here? No, wait. I could put it up. There's no way I can put it higher than Alien Gray. I just can't. Uh, this thing just pops a Spell Trap, which automatically makes it better than, like, half of bad. <laughs> uh... How do I feel about the worm guy? Maybe here. I'm kind of winging it at this point. This guy searches a worm, which is a pretty decent effect, but there are no good worm monsters out. 
So we'll just put it right next to the other worm, other worm guy. I don't know what this does. It's a worm monster. This thing, like, just actively conflicts with the plan of Light's Horn. Although it does let you, like, draw one. Hmm. I'll throw it over here somewhere in bad. It's kind of becoming the default whatever tier. Don't know what this does. Gravity Orb changes the battle positions of all face-up monsters your opponent controls, so... Yeah, sorry, just garbage. Uh, yeah. It's a cool-looking card, though. That's neat. Uh, War Worm Hope. What does this do when it's flipped up and just... When it's flipped up, you draw one. No, wait, when it's flipped up by an attacking monster. Is this even a flip effect monster? I think it is. I'm pretty sure it is. And then when it goes to the graveyard, you discard one. It's like a bad Dark World dealings. I'm tempted to just call that garbage. Just, just throw it in here. I uh, don't know what you do. Hamster. Um, I don't know. A lot of people seem to think I hate this card because I think it's worth playing a copy of Charge in your deck. But it, number one, buddy. I, it just like... It's Raikou. But also it's better than Raikou because it can get stuff that isn't Raikou. And it's got better stats than Raikou. The only kind of downside compared to Raikou is that it is a bit slower... If you just, like, set it and your opponent doesn't attack it, then you don't get to pop things when you maybe might otherwise want to. Plus, it loses to, like, Vanity's Fiend and um, Fossil Dina and stuff post-board as well. And if Raikou happens to get knocked out of your deck, then the Hamster's just a dead card oftentimes. But, like, also, as I mentioned, you can just get other stuff, too. Like, I, the Moja Cat deck, there's just, like, a bunch of other targets you could also summon. You could summon Moja, make King. You can just summon out Airbellum if you want to do that. So I, I do think it is just strictly better. Uh, we're going to call Hamster probably number one flip effect monster in the whole format, right? I don't see anything surpassing it. So yeah. And then lastly, we have Commander Covington, which... No, wait, that's not what this is. This thing searches Commander Covington. I don't remember what this card's name is, but it searches the guy that has like an effect that summons the impractical, impossible to summon Machina boss monster. So... <laughs> I mean, where in garbage are we putting it? That's the real question. That's the real question. Is, it, is he worse than this stuff? He's probably worse than this stuff. I don't know. He does just, like, add a machine to your hand, though. And I think his defense stat is good. So maybe I can put him down in bad somewhere. Uh, where do we feel? How generous do I want to be? I think he's worse than... I don't know. <laughs> realistically it's probably worse than all this stuff whatever here here there i don't know yeah that's fine we're that's the last thing on the tier list and a lot of these i've kind of just put wherever that is my ranking of all the flip monsters quite a few whose effects i forget which i mean can you really blame me here i knew a lot of them i knew what freaking poison mummy did do you know what what poison mummy and desert tapir do wait is that what even what this card is called i don't know i think it is but yeah, uh, that's that's the tier list. I mean, Microcell looks kind of out of place up here, but its effect is so nuts. It is, so I'm, I'm, I'm going to stick to it. Yeah, I mean, we, we got three tiers of, like, sort of passable, and then maybe the top few in bad. You could theoretically somehow find a way to exploit them. And then everything else is pretty much just absolute dog. So that's kind of my assessment of the flip monsters. I think these are pretty definitively the best ones. I think everyone would agree with that. So anyway, let me know what you thought in the comments section. Let me know if I missed any. It's entirely possible. Like I said, there's a bajillion flip effect monsters. And uh, yeah, that's all we got for today. So I hope you guys enjoyed. Let me know what you thought in the comments, as I said. And I'll see you in the next one. As always, be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Furthermore, if you enjoy my content, you should think about becoming a channel member. You get access to tons of bonus content, and it's a great way to help support the channel.